Welcome back to Beam & Beam. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest Revit and Beam tutorials. This is the chapter 2 from our Revit tutorial on how to master georeferencing in Revit and work in a shared coordinates project. So, let's jump right in and finish the tutorial together. In the first chapter, we created a georeferenced site model, and in this chapter we will link the architectural, structural and map Revit model and make them georeferenced. Let's start by linking the architectural Revit file. To do this, go to Manage, Manage Links and add the Revit file and choose Center to Center. As you see here, the architectural model is not well placed, so let's move it manually and use the DWG file as reference. In this example, we will align it with the facade wall. Note that the alignment process depends on the information that you have in your DWG file. For example, you can align the model using either grids, walls, a reference point, etc. And now let's create a section in order to verify the elevation of the model. In our example, the level 1 of the site file is aligned with level 1 of the architectural model. And to make it more complex, which will be the case for most of you, we will change the elevation of our site file. Let's assume that the level of the project is 40 meters. Let's move the architectural model now in elevation and align its level 1 with the level 1 of the site file. As we said at 40 meters, we will create in the next videos how to create the topography in Revit starting from a DWG survey file. Now our architectural model is aligned on X, Y, and Z axis. Okay. Now let's share the coordinates between the site file and the architectural file. To do this, go to Manage and click on Publish Coordinates. After doing this, double-click on Escape to avoid sharing them to other links. But for our example, we will share them also to the DWG survey file. It will help us next time to link with shared coordinates. We will rename the position, Shared Coordinates. Now our architectural model is linked with shared coordinates, as you see on the Properties panel on the left. It is also the case for the DWG survey file. And now, let's do the same steps for the MEP Revit file. We'll link it and place it center to center, then align it manually and finally publish the coordinates. Note that the alignment process depends on the information that you have in your DWG file. For example, you can align the model using either grids, walls, a reference point, etc.
Once our project is aligned on plan, let's go to the created section from earlier and align the model on elevation, meaning on the z-axis. Great, our MEP model is aligned on the X, Y, and Z axis. Let's publish the coordinates now, as we have done earlier with the architectural model. We will rename the position, shared coordinates. Great. The last model to link is the structural model. Now as we know how to follow the steps to align the model and publish the coordinates, we'll speed up the process a little bit. Now the last step before saving and closing the Revit site file, is to save the positions of each linked Revit file. To do this, let's go to Manage, then Manage Links, and click on each link and click in Save Position. This step will save the new coordinates of the project base point in each of these links. And now, let's verify our work by opening the structural model and trying to link all the other links by shared coordinates. And here it is. Our Revit project is now geo-referenced. As we see together, all the Revit model are aligned and share the same coordinates. The last step of verification is by adding a spot coordinates annotation. And this is how we create a geo-referenced Revit project from A to Z. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for future updates. Thanks for watching.